Speak. 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 Atta boy. It's a sound boy. that Egan police officer Andy Helgerson has grown accustomed to. Ach, fuss. Fuss. He has been the city's canine officer for the past seven years, utilizing a dog's unique abilities to help fight crime. Its primary goal is a locating tool. It finds things and people for us. Now in the past seven years, he and his crime-fighting partner Maverick formed a bond. Mav wasn't just man's best friend. He became part of Andy's family. He works with me. He, uh, he went uh, home with me. He was my friend at, uh, on my days off. And... But one day in the fall of 2011, Helgerson noticed Maverick wasn't quite himself. Within two or three weeks, it was uh, going from him being able to jump, run, bite, and do things that uh, he'd done for years to barely being able to walk. Veterinarians at the U of M diagnosed Mav with cancer, which had already spread throughout his body. Rather than watch him suffer, the decision was made to put him down. Well, it was getting pretty bad, and uh, you know I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't bear to watch him go like that. That wasn't him. The loss of Maverick left a hole in the hearts of many in the city, but it also created an opening for a new dog. The Egan Citizen Crime Prevention Association acted quickly, donating the funds for a new Belgian Malinois from Slovenia. And we're very blessed to have not only the support from the community, but the support from the department, and the, uh, the fact that, that these folks recognize that this is um, an important tool for us. The new dog is still very much a pup, and he still needs plenty of schooling before he joins the force. You can tell he just wants to play. But first things first, he needed a name. And who better to name him than another group of energetic young kids? Their dog. This is their dog. This is not my dog. He, uh, yeah, he lives with me. He works with me. I, I am his handler, but he belongs to the city of Egan. The police department reached out to Egan schools, where kids submitted names for the new dog. The winning name was Badger, which came from Deerwood Elementary. Officer Helgerson picked the name Badger after it was submitted by third grader Tess Adams. Well, I don't really know. <laughs> I just like came up with it. It just like suddenly flopped in my mind. But Officer Helgerson knows why he picked it. The state is called the Badger State. <laughs> so I thought it was only fitting that being from Wisconsin, Badger should be my partner. Through the name, he's already feeling a connection with Badger and that bond will only continue to grow through the grueling 12-week training process. Sweat, blood, sweat, and tears, literally. Um, I've got scars all over my body to prove that uh, um, it is not an exact science to train a police dog. And there's still the emotional scars from the loss of Maverick that only time will heal. It's just hard to, uh, hard to express how, you know, you go from that huge feeling of loss to, uh, um, now we have a new opportunity, a new, uh, new challenge, and it all begins again. It's, it's, it's fun. But it helps that a lot of the things that he loved about Maverick, he can already see developing in his new friend. You know, I, he was one of those dogs that had that temperament that just, he just wanted to be with you and uh, please you. So mm -hmm. it was very easy to develop that bond with him. Um, and I see the same thing here in, in this guy. 